This is on Mars in the future. Two astronauts have just landed here after descending from their spaceship. But this planet has already evolved intelligent life forms. A creature turns around and stares at them blankly. Kamachi simply greets it friendly, unexpectedly. In the next second, Akita's neck is twisted and broken. One can imagine how ferocious these creatures on Mars are. Back on the spaceship, Kamachi angrily questions the captain about what happened. Hiruma, who knows the inside story, reluctantly confesses to everyone. It turns out that over 300 years ago, humans, in order to improve the environment on Mars, sent a carefully selected group of cockroaches and moss to be released on Mars. The purpose was to make Mars habitable for humans and to facilitate future interstellar migration plans. But to everyone's surprise, after living on Mars for some time, the cockroaches underwent mutations and evolved into a new kind of intelligent life form. They not only became physically strong and agile, but also possessed extremely high intelligence. Although the environment on Mars has been improved, but the planet has been overrun by cockroaches. Any humans brave enough to set foot on this land are mercilessly killed by them to regain control of Mars. The military spared no expense and dispatched a small team to Mars to take on the task of exterminating the cockroach people in order to give humans the ability to fight against the cockroach people. The doctor also injected insect genes into their bodies, and as long as a specially formulated cell activation drug is injected, the insect cells inside their bodies can be activated, thus granting them the ability to counter the cockroach army. Just then, a cockroach person slowly approaches the spaceship. Lee steps forward first. With the injection of the cell activation drug into his body, the insect genes within him also awaken. Lee successfully evolves into an insect human. With just one strike, the cockroach person was left defenseless. Lee looks at his hands in shock. He couldn't believe he was so strong, but he underestimated the power of the cockroach person. Soon, the cockroach person rises again and slowly approaches Lee, extending its claws. It instantly cuts Lee in half at the waist. Then, the cockroach person leaps onto the spaceship and violently smashes its head against the cabin's glass. Just as everyone is shocked, the pilot assures them not to be afraid because it is their country's strongest glass. But in the next second, Captain Dojima quickly injects himself with the drug, transforming into a ferocious bullet ant. He then punches the cockroach person's head, blowing it apart. Seeing this scene, everyone looks on with envy. Little do they know that the army of cockroaches is rapidly approaching them, just as everyone is preparing to pilot the spaceship and leave. The spaceship's operating system suddenly malfunctions, and it cannot take off. At that moment, Dojima informed everyone that there was a spaceship left behind on Mars over 300 years ago. He asked the others to go and search for the spaceship, while he stayed behind to hold off the Roach army. As the airlock opened, the Roach army had already surrounded them, making escape impossible. Aoki grabbed a potion and gave himself a shot. As the insect cells in his body were fully activated, he transformed into a fire-breathing frogman. With the help of Aoki's flames, the chariot raced towards the target spaceship at a fast pace. However, their joy was short-lived as a massive roach army appeared on the horizon, rushing towards them like an overwhelming wave. Luckily, in a critical moment, Aoki increased his firepower. They broke through the encirclement. However, during the violent roll, Marino was thrown out of the vehicle, and everyone inside fell into a state of unconsciousness. Just then, the chariot suddenly activated its autopilot mode and fled with all the people. Marino was left alone, facing the countless roach soldiers. Meanwhile, Kamachi and the others finally found the spaceship and hurriedly entered the cockpit to assess the situation. However, when they turned on the computer, they discovered that the spaceship was also malfunctioning and unable to take off. Suddenly, intense sounds of combat erupted outside. When they went outside, they discovered that their two teammates who were supposed to be guarding were already lying on the ground. Confronted with the relentless Roach army, Kamachi immediately injected herself with an activating serum and transformed into a fierce wasp. Muto, not to be outdone, transformed into an agile desert locust. With a few leaps, they routed the Roach soldiers, with Sakakibara transforming into a mantis. They eliminated all the roach soldiers in no time. However, just as they were preparing to return to the spaceship, it suddenly activated on its own. DR. Honda revealed the truth to them through a drone. It turned out that Honda didn't expect them to exterminate the roach soldiers. The purpose of this trip was to obtain the cockroach genes and create a more ferocious roach army to dominate Earth. 
Clearly, apart from the three of them, Honda had already bought off their other teammates and the captain. Meanwhile, Dojima and the others were preparing to return to Earth with the captured Roach soldiers on the spaceship. However, the trapped Roach soldiers inside the spaceship sent out a distress signal. Upon hearing it, the Roach army on the ground sprouted wings and swarmed towards the spaceship. In a matter of moments, the spaceship was completely destroyed by the Roach army. Now, only Kamachi and the other two were left on Mars. Facing a massive Roach army, to break through the encirclement, Kamachi and the three of them didn't hesitate to inject the drug again, and engaged in a desperate battle against the Roach army. In their transformed states, the three of them fought valiantly and killed many Roach soldiers. However, the leader of the Roach soldiers joined the battle, and swiftly defeated Kamachi, the strongest of the three, Sakakibara, who intended to launch a surprise attack, had his arm instantly broken by the opponent, and his head was severed. Muto, unwilling to give up, injected himself with a second vial of activating serum, transforming into a more powerful insect form. In an instant, he took down several roach soldiers, then Muto flew into the air and injected a third potion, evolving a pair of insect wings successfully. The roach soldiers also sprouted wings and flew up to attack him. However, Muto, in his third form, was incredibly formidable and swiftly killed countless roach soldiers in the air. Yet, the number of roach soldiers was simply too overwhelming. After successive battles, the effects of Muto's third form serum completely faded, and he fell to the ground from the sky. The cockroach took advantage of the opportunity and launched a surprise attack. However, Muto quickly injected himself with a fourth serum, followed immediately by a fifth. Strengthened by the serums, he retaliated with a heavy kick, decapitating the cockroach human's lieutenant, but the exertion and strain on his body caused Muto to collapse to the ground. Unconscious, and upon witnessing their lieutenant being defeated by a human, the cockroach human leader grew furious. He approached Kamachi and snapped off his pincers. Kamachi, determined to fight back, delivered a powerful punch to the leader's face. However, it had no effect on him whatsoever. Just as the cockroach human leader was about to finish off Kamachi, he suddenly stopped. A bright light appeared in the sky. It was Akita, who had been resurrected as a butterfly. Fluttering in the air, Akita scattered phosphorus powder, disorienting the cockroach army. One cockroach human attempted to shoot Akita down, but accidentally ignited the phosphorus powder, triggering a massive explosion. In an instant, the cockroach army was nearly wiped out. Only a few strong survivors remained. Seizing the opportunity, Kamachi delivered a powerful punch to the heavily injured cockroach human leader, knocking him down. However, instead of killing him, Kamachi turned around and piloted the spaceship. Leaving the scene, the cockroach human leader, despite his injuries, had a moment of realization about human emotions. He didn't order his remaining soldiers to pursue Kamachi. And so, the story comes to an end. Perhaps one day, the cockroach humans will develop their own civilization on this land. Just like humans, 